Hey kids, or adults in this case, <laughs> I'm going to be showing you how to find the area of a triangle. Whoa! And a triangle is a polygon. Awesome. Here we go. Okay, how's it going everybody? Today we're going to find the area. Ooh, my pencil's sticking out. Let's put it back in. Let's make it nice and tiny. Okay, let's find the area of the shapes when their vertices are given. Okay? So, triangle with vertices 2, 1, 8, 1, 2, 7. Now, before we start plotting the points, what is the area of a triangle? Area equals base times height divided by 2. Okay? Or we can word it this way. Area equals 1 half base times height. Either way, we can plug it in and we'll get the same results. Okay? So, let's do this. Okay? 2, 1. How do we plot 2, 1? Just in case for people who don't know, okay? So, since we're since it's a positive number, we're moving over to the right, too. So we start on 0, 1, 2. Now, we wouldn't plot it there, because that would be 2, 0. For 2, 1, we go up 1. So, our first point is right here, okay? Our first vertice. Alright, 8, 1. How do we plot that? Okay, so we 8, we move over to the x-axis. The x-axis is the horizontal line, and then the y-axis is the vertical line, right? And it makes a nice little cross on our coordinate plane. So here we go. 8, 1. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then up 1, right here. Okay? And that is... We'll connect them. Okay, so we're not done. Our last point, 2, 7, will give us our triangle. So move over 2 to the right, then up 7. Because this is positive. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Positive. Okay, so right here, that's our 2, 7. Oh, my line's a little crooked, and now we have our triangle, okay? Now, if it had been 2, negative 7, we would have been negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, and negative 7. It would have, the point would have been here, right? But we're not doing 2, negative 7, 2, positive 7, okay? So this is our base, all right? And how do we know how big our base is? Well, we can count. We can start from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, wait, yep, 6, right? Or we can just do 8 minus 2 equals 6, right? So our base is 6 times, what's our height? Our height is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Or we could have just done 7 minus 1 along our y-axis, 6. So 6 times 6 divided by 2, 36, right? How many times does 2 go into 36? Let's do a little division. Here we go, I'll move it up so you guys can see. Okay, so 2 goes into 3, 1 time, 2, put the 1 down, 16, and that's, how many is that guys? Come on, you know this. 8 times, right? 8 times 2, 16, 0. So, our answer, our area is 18. Or we could have done 1 half times base times height, which would have been 6 times 6, right? So, 36 times a half, right? 36 times 0 0.5, we get 30, 15, 80, move our decimal, 18. So, same thing. Two different ways, that's how we find the area of our triangle. And what is a triangle with uh, when two of the same sides are the same? What's that called? I'm going to leave that for you guys to answer. Haha, <laughs> I don't want to tell you. Do some research. Alright, so here's a good look. Here's what we did. Our triangle, our formulas, our answer. The area is 18 by...